Let me take you guys back for a second, okay? It's 2021, we're just getting ready for the PlayStation Showcase. We're expecting, we're hoping for a Spider-Man 2 announcement. Instead, we get an announcement for Marvel's Wolverine and people go crazy. Insomniac's not just doing Spider-Man, they're working on a Wolverine game. And I mean, now, I mean, the X-Men craze is at an all-time high. I'm loving X-Men 97. I've been going back and reading a bunch of the older comics as well. I'm just on an X-Men binge. I can't wait for the Wolverine game, man. But then to our surprise, Insomniac also also announces during that same showcase that they're also working on Marvel Spider-Man 2 and it's coming in 2023. But then stay with me. We wait over a year before we hear anything else about Marvel Spider-Man 2. Insomniac stays very quiet. And it isn't all the way until May of last year when a new PlayStation showcase is announced and we finally get the gameplay reveal for Marvel Spider-Man 2 and the hype train goes full steam ahead until the fall of last year when the game finally released. And it's met with tons of praise, whether it's critically, whether it's from the fans, whether it's in terms of sales, it's won tons of awards. People went crazy for Marvel Spider-Man 2 back in October and all the way up until the New Game Plus update. Point being that PlayStation knows how insane the hype is for this franchise, how insane fans are in terms of their excitement for anything Insomniac Spider-Man. And I personally think it would be crazy to just have Spider-Man 2 come out and then that's it, we're moving on to the next game. I'm a firm believer that we're gonna be getting some DLC for Marvel Spider-Man 2. And now we might know when we can expect a DLC reveal of some kind and as well we might even have a first glimpse at the dlc in this game we're gonna get into all that here and more in today's video so jeff grubb a name that you might recognize if you've been watching this channel when spider-man 2 was revealed as he is a pretty reliable insider when it comes especially to playstation related things he was very recently talking on the giant bomb podcast about well when we can expect another playstation showcase and i will say you know as i always say with stuff like this you know take it with a grain of salt although jeff grubb does have a very proven track record this doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be exact confirmation of when the next playstation showcase is going to take place but hey let me just roll the clip for you guys and you can hear what he has to say and then silent hill 2 gets it, its esrb rating no oh, oh no now okay so there's more more to this uh, and this will be my own reporting everybody so watch out oh, uh, no. the upcoming silent hill 2 remake has been officially rated m by the esrb which is not surprising given the franchise uh, franchise's consistently graphic nature the rating suggests that a release window might be imminent. Uh, I have heard that there will be a PlayStation something, either a state of play or a showcase next month in May. So this is probably going to be there. Yeah, Jeff was very careful to state that he expects a PlayStation something to be happening in May. Whether it be a state of play, whether it be a showcase, whether it be you guys scrolling down and hitting the thumbs up button, something. Now, somebody asked him over on Twitter, would you think that it's more of a showcase or a state of play? I know they had a showcase in May last year, but new leadership could throw plans off. And Jeff Grubb ended up replying saying, showcase is the way that I'm leaning. Now, I don't necessarily think that in this instance, Jeff Grubb was just reporting inside information i think that he's just providing his opinion but i am leaning towards it being a showcase as well mainly because i mean like the user in that original tweet was stating we got a showcase in may of last year if jeff grubb is hearing that we're going to be getting a playstation something next month then considering what we have seen last year it's probably going to be another showcase. You gotta factor in now too that E3 is gone. And I'm first of all, very sad about that. You know, it really bums me out. It was one of my favorite shows to attend every single year, but there's a void now that's been left. That summer slot for game reveals is gone. Now, things like Summer Game Fest have tried to fill that void. And I think they're doing a pretty good job so far with still some work to be done, but also Xbox, PlayStation, they've independently been trying to fill that void themselves with showcases of their own. So now we may see that many May, the month of May will become the slot for PlayStation to have their showcases, to have their big reveals, which is great. Honestly, I, I love the summer game reveal season. And if we do get a PlayStation showcase next month, then that is definitely a spot where we can see a Spider-Man 2 DLC be unveiled. Who knows? The DLC might even come out this year if we're lucky. Now, again, this is all just speculation. This is all kind of wishful thinking. Don't get your hopes up too high, just in case Insomniac has said, you know what? No, we're going to put all our resources and time into Marvel Spider-Man 3, into Marvel's Wolverine. But again, I just, I don't think that they're done with Spider-Man 2. We know for sure that there's still some more updates to come. We still have some new suits that are going to be coming to the game that were done with Kid Super and some other celebrities. 
not a big fan of those suits not entirely looking forward to them but they're going to be coming to the game nonetheless so there is new content that's still to come from marvel spider-man 2 whether or not it's going to be a dlc expansion well that's what we'll maybe have to wait and see for if we get a playstation showcase next month and of course i will keep you guys covered reactions updates news all that fun stuff we get a playstation showcase next month i'll be all over it subscribe turn on those notifications because on top of getting a potential spider-man 2 dlc reveal during a playstation showcase if there is one in may we also could get a look at marvel's wolverine if insomniac is ready to unveil some gameplay for that game if they have something ready to go that could be a place to show it off. But okay, like I said, we might have gotten a glimpse at DLC already in Marvel Spider-Man 2. You see, we recently got the new Game Plus update. With it came a slew of quality of life fixes, being able to change the time of day, swap your tendril colors, new Game Plus as well, and some new suits. We got the Hellfire Gala suits added into the game for free. And then we also got the Fresh and Fly suit pack that you had to spend $5 on. Now, if you're in the US, that $5 goes entirely to charity up to $1 million, specifically to the game Game heads organization and don't worry you know if you're outside of the u.s or if you just don't have the means to do so those suits are going to be coming to the game for free at a later date so nothing to worry about there really and honestly it's supporting a great cause so if you live in the u.s it's only five dollars but anyways when they announced the fresh and fly suit pack they also gave us a trailer what i didn't notice though and shout outs to the community and as well fellow content creator evan falarka for pointing this out there is a moment during that trailer where you can see and it's blinking you'll miss it a tv in the background that showcases a scene that's definitely not in marvel spider-man 2. it is a scene of peter in aunt may's house specifically in his room and there are some text bubbles popping up as he is seemingly texting somebody now evan falarka pointed out in his video that he played through marvel spider-man 2 several times and did not notice this scene i just recently wrapped up my new game plus playthrough i'm going for that 100 i do not remember ever seeing this so that's gotten the community speculating that this may be a first look at a scene that takes place during dlc within this game and while yes Yes, that very well may be the case let me be the debbie downer here okay let me try and potentially debunk this this was a shot that was in an official trailer that was released on playstation's youtube channel by insomnia and they for sure they know full well what's on the tvs at their development studio they know what they're showing on those tvs and they would definitely know in this instance hey the camera guy is over here he's going to do a panning shot across this room and that tv is going to be in the background so they would double triple quadruple check to make sure that whatever's on that tv isn't something that could hint at a future dlc i feel like what they've put there is probably just something that's specific or special to those who are in studio it's probably not anything that's in an upcoming dlc for marvel spider-man 2 at least i don't think so i doubt it's even like a scene that was cut from the game it's probably just like a fun little animation that somebody an animator worked on and said you know what why don't we just have this playing and looping while we're here that's just me trying to not jump to conclusions okay that's just me trying to not get too ahead of myself i still do believe that we're going to be getting a dlc for marvel spider-man 2 and if there is a showcase that's going to be taking place next month i think there is a very likely chance we see dlc for spider-man 2 revealed during that showcase but i do not think unfortunately that whatever was shown on that tv in the background during that trailer that showcased the game head suits has anything to do with a dlc for this game and with that said let me now kick it to you guys sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below are you hyped for a potential playstation showcase next month do you think we got a first look at dlc in marvel spider-man 2 on the tv in the background of that trailer sound off with your thoughts in the comments i've been caboose i'll see you guys later